Kira here with another Dust Bunny Challenge. Um, so we missed last month, which was my fault because we I got uh, crazy overwhelmed with some personal stuff. But we're back this month, so make sure to check out Natalie's channel, which I will link below. Um, we do a challenge every month where we use... We try and use our stash, so dust off some stuff that we haven't used in a while and use it on a layout. Um, we had been working in 6x6 six six, um, paper pads, which I believe is what Natalie is still using this month. But I wanted to use some of my digital stash. So I am kind of a sucker for digital papers, and I buy way more than I ever intend on using. Um, so I wanted to like actually use some of it. So um, I am using... Um, some papers from um, Allison, oh, I think it's Allison Pennington. Ooh, I will link down below her shop, but she has one, some of the best pattern papers um, from as far as digital papers go. Um, so I love her style. I love the papers that she has. Um, and this is from Mr. Sun, I believe is what the collection's called. And again, I will link in the description box so um, you don't have to go by what I'm actually saying. You can just go to the description box if you wanna see these papers um, and other um, items she has in her shop. Um, so what I decided to do is I wanted to create some um, little tags tags. Yeah, that's what I want. Um, tags. Um, and I'm going to place them on the side of my journaling page here. So I printed the papers out. Um, they're sized as 12 by 12 papers, but I printed them out as three by three um, and just printed them out on a single sheet of paper and then cut them out as um, two by three tags. Um, and then I'm just sticking... Um, I just punched some holes in the same pattern paper, sticking the, those on each of the tags, and then I will punch in the center of that um, hole in a minute um, here so you can see how that all comes together. Um, and then I'm going to kind of color block my tags. So got all my tags made. This layout came together so quickly. I am talking like 15 minutes, I think, is how long I spent on this. Um, well, not including the typing of the journaling and the printing of the picture and all that, but it went together, came together really quickly. So I didn't know if I kind of wanted these tags staggered on the side, but in the end, I thought they looked better all neat and in a row. So that's what I'll end up doing here. Um, and uh, I stuck. It kind of went like off the edge for the top and the bottom one just so they'll all fit on there um, and yeah I'm just gonna adhere these down with some adhesive um, nothing too fancy here with the, this part of the layout um, I have seen Natalie's layout um, and of course it's amazing as always um, so hopefully you guys get a chance to check out her um, video as well. She always does a lot um, different techniques than me so I think it's we kind of bring the best of both worlds to our layouts because she's a little bit more mixed media and um, I'm a little bit more structured in my design so we um, balance each other out well. Um, so now that I've got those adhered where I want I'm just cutting off all the excess um, on the edges um, and yeah, I'm really liking how this layout's looking. Again, it's just a really clean, simple layout. Um, and then I had already grabbed all of my embellishments before I started, so I just went through my stash and kind of looked through um, to find colors that I thought would work for this. So I pulled out a couple like yellow embellishments, a couple blue embellishments, um, some grayish blue embellishments. And then for the plaid, I decided to go with kind of some browns um, because it's got like, it's got the blue, it's got the yellow, and it's got some pink in there. Um, but I thought kind of a nice neutral would work well too. Um, so I pulled out this cork number um, and I had that heart on there was um, like a wood grain heart. But I decided not to go with a heart because I have a heart right below the one. I have a little chipboard heart that's blue. Um, so instead, what I'm going to put on the one is I'm going to um, 
tie a little bow with that twine that you see sitting there. Um, I bumped one of the little embellishments up on some foam um, and just to give it a little bit of dimension and then I'm just adhering the rest of this stuff on here. Um, I'm not sure where that number's from. I think it might be like old citrus twist, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, and then just trimming off the excess. Um, and I'm going to pull in some enamel dots here too. But first I was, uh, I didn't know I, how I was gonna use that twine, but I thought I'm um, just pulling in a tiny little bit of it for a bow would be cute. So I'm just tying a bow um, and then I'll just go ahead and use my tiny attacher to just staple it right on there. Um, and that works out perfectly. Uh, so now I'm gonna go through my enamel dots and um, which is always a jumbled mess. Um, and I just pulled out some colors that I thought looked um, okay, <laughs> that would work for the colors that I have picked here. Um, so I pulled out like some dark blue ones, some yellow, kind of like a mustardy yellow, um, some kind of grayish blue, and then for the top tag, um, I ended up going with white. Um, I thought that was the safest, safest color. Um, one, because I did not have brown enamel dots. Um, I don't know how popular those would be if they made brown enamel dots, but I definitely don't have any. Um, and so I just thought I would bring in some white since there's white in the tag, white in the baker's twine, um, and thought it worked well. Um, when I first started doing enamel dots, I was kind of like haphazard with like the dark blue, but then I started going kind of right up on the edge of the layout. So I decided to change the dark blue so they are um, more on the edge with the other ones as well. It just looked a little bit more cohesive that way. Um, and that's my layout, done and done. I didn't know which way I wanted it, but I ended up switching it back this way. Um, and here's some close-ups for you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Again, I will link Natalie's um, channel in the description box so you can see what she did for Dust Bunnies this time. And I will talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye. Oh, 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 oh,